Yeah. Can we say everything? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what I like is um, creativity. Some most of the time, I can use levels, and I play with the layers of the song. When I when I get into like the first two eights, and I know what's gonna happen, so I can play with the layers of the song. But what I dislike counteracts everything that I like. Mm -hmm. so, now one thing is mentality. Yeah. So like I'll take a two week break from dance, and now I just take up coffee stuff. And now I'm going into it, and I've not got the creativity that I had two weeks ago, but nothing has changed. I just didn't dance for two weeks because something else. Mm -hmm. um, and then that comes into position and cleanliness. So when I go into positions, I'm seeing other people and it looks so natural to them. When I'm looking back on the video, I'm like, this looks so awkward. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like I imagined it in my head. Yeah. So it doesn't bang like I thought it would. I thought it looked sick. And rushing, especially since I started learning house, like when I hear house beats, especially I rush. And like, I have it in my head, but my body's not reciprocating it. Right. And it's also because my me it's mentality. It's like my me mental state is going, oh, rush it, do it, do it, do it, do it quickly. Or you're not going to get that creativity again, like, do it. And it's all just like kind of in my head. Like, right. You know what to do with that. Okay, cool. Um, cool. All right. Um, if you had one to choose to work on, which one would it be? It'd be mentality, but that's like everything. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so here's what we're going to do. We, uh, Let's do the rushing part, okay, cool. right? Because it's become, it's, it's still tied to mentality, but it's more specific, right? So the rushing part, I'm gonna play the music and then you're gonna freestyle. Don't think about anything, just, you know, freestyle, right? Let's go for it. How did you feel about this one? Because the start was slow, it's easy for me to relax. As soon as I hear beats, especially because of creativity and my mindset, my brain is not doing what it should be doing. Like I'm rushing. Like, especially because I want to do mm -hmm. all of this. I know where the beat's coming, my brain's not processing it because I'm rushing. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where it's going on. Okay. Essentially. Okay. So, Here's the thing, just because we go slow, it doesn't mean we're not rushing, right? It doesn't mean we're not rushing. And just because we, don't, we go fast, it doesn't mean we are rushing, right? So what I mean by that is I can be very fast and inside I'm like, like this. And, and ultimately that's what I love to do. To, I, I would love to get to that state all the time, but sometimes I mess up too, right? So sometimes I'm just rushing and then ah, I want to control inside, but inside is not calm. But when inside is calm and I'm rushing, like perfect timing and precision is there. And also vice versa. I can also take my time here, but actually inside I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I doing here and you know, next. So I'm gonna invite you to be even more calm than what you've just done here. Here's how. Because when you start it, 
you share with us you shared with us so many ideas in the first in, in the first half and the problem with that is I see you doing so, so many things it's difficult for the audience to digest everything that is going on right now when the music actually started and then you add the, you know this energy so it helps you to kind of uh, kind of uh, reconnect with that audience and you know um, uh, add an extra layer to that to 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 your um, to your performance but if the first part was longer than that you would have kept on you know training with IG exactly and then the mind would have started to play with you you see what I mean so therefore the moment that you start simplify exactly what we've done I will I want you to start your freestyle like that so start with maybe you know an idea or a concept and I want you to dwell with this one okay. you know and develop with this one so that we can actually follow what's going on and when you decide to blow up yeah it's just a continuity yeah, right. okay exactly okay. let's go with it so really think about the exercise that we did right I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just. You say, uh, you gave me this bomb only because there's two things that I have said. Sorry. But when you start, um, you forget completely that there were a mirror in this room, it changed everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you were more secure in yourself. Like, it's like you're not here to impress anyone. It's just you and your dance, your music, and the story is there. It was absolutely beautiful. Like, it was absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So, you see, the first time you were moving slow, but you were not calm. Yeah. Right? On the second time, you didn't in, you, when the music actually started, you didn't f need, you didn't actually have the desire to blow up anymore. Yeah. You see what I mean? Therefore, this is where you create a perfect, you know, uh, um, harmony with the music. It's not like the music is detect dictating everything that you have to do, you know? Like, oh, the music goes faster now and I have to go faster. No, you just did what you felt like doing. But you started in a way that changed everything. Yeah. How? Just because you simplified. You simplified. I was able to see what is happening. Literally, I can remember what you started with. You see what I mean? And then you, you know, like, you, you started playing and then when I said, you know, forget about the mirror because I, I saw you started to look, look uh, a little bit, then you started to be more internal, right? And then playing with movement like this. And then I see, you know, starting to develop, you know, with this. So I can follow. So the audience can digest 
way more what's going on. They don't have to understand what's going on in your mind. They don't have to understand everything that you are doing. But they just need to be able to follow. Right? And that's what you did on the second row. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just want to piggyback on something that you said at the end when, you, when, you were talking, when we were talking, um, when you were sharing your, your notes. You said, I don't know how to do this. Right? Yeah. So here's the thing, guys. You will see that if you come, if you see, if you come to my classes, you, re, you will realize that I have nothing new to share with you. Most of the time, everything that I'm going to tell you, consciously or unconsciously, you already know it. Yeah. I'm only here to remind you and package it maybe in a different way that this time, hopefully, it will stick. That's all I do. That's all I do, right? So when you say you don't know it, I just show to you, no, actually, you know it because it's the same dancer two minutes later. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's it. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for sticking around. Are you looking for a holistic dance practice? Our member Stephanie said, With BTM, I not only improve as a dancer, but grew personally and spiritually. It's more than just steps. It's about understanding yourself through dance, appreciating every micro movement and deepening the connection with music. At BTM, we blend mindsets, movements and music, delivering a transformative freestyle dance experience. So dive into our program today and elevate your dance skills. I'll see you on the inside, all right? Take care. Bye-bye.